Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome to Starbase. Now, Starbase is a game where you design your own ships, which can be either be for mining or fighting, salvaging, all sorts of things. It could be a hybridization of the co like couple of things I've mentioned. And uh, yeah, so what do we have here? Well, this is a space station or a station. Uh, it's got shops like these squares those are shops um i think you can rent lots or something i don't know i I've, I've only dabbled with this a little uh this is a re-recording because the first episode did not have any sound and i do apologize for that so uh yeah i'll try my best so we can you know recreate the first steps and uh yeah so as far as i know this is closed alpha i am allowed to record and everything and just so i'm just gonna add every time I'm going to add a disclaimer that this is still closed alpha or alpha version. Things might be different by the time you guys get the game or buy the game. And that's about it. Very simple UI. The one thing I would suggest if any of the developers are watching. In the graphics settings, I wish to choose which monitor the game starts running. It is a minor inconvenience. Very minor. Uh, because the game starts up in my first monitor which is on my left hand side and then i have to go to windowed mode drag the game to this monitor which we are playing on now and go back to borderless window so that's just one thing i would change the rest is fine and maybe just a little maybe a border around this window would be great and a little x sign over here because for me i was like where do i close this thing and it's like yeah just press escape and it would save so i would not i don't know if the setting saved or not if i just pressed escape but apparently as soon as you change something it saves immediately and you can go ahead and just exit as you wish so like i said i did go i did start up the game i uh did a recording whatnot it went south so we are gonna try to recreate everything from scratch and uh, let's go ahead into universe over here you will have like it would say character zero or, or something um, but I think uh, by the time you can create character would be down here. Then you go ahead, create a character, enter your name. Luckily, Baboon King is still available. So I'm happy that works. And let's go ahead and enter the universe. Now, what I like about this game is the instant, instant loading. Or like there is actually no loading. And you guys see this plume over here? There's a big, f beautiful fart cloud. That is the belt where there are asteroids where you can go mine. Uh, there is a ship over there of a person. There is another ship over there, I think. There's one on at the top of us. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we sort of start around here-ish. I think over here or something. I, I can't remember. There was There is a place where we, we start the game. Um, and oh, look, there's another ship. Man, this game is... It's beautiful. For early access, it is quite beautiful. So you start the game. I think it's around there somewhere. Oh, and the music is just epic. And then you are flooded with all of these cool things. Um, buy a spaceship. You can go buy one. You can go create your own. We have our shops. Like these buildings here. And here are shops. Um, here is some like mining jobs or like, different jobs. Uh, we can start earning some credits. You are going to do some time here. Like work some time. Work, do jobs and whatnot. And then you should be golden in terms of... Ooh, what a hitch. And then you should be able to afford a couple of cool things. Um, so, controls super easy. WASD to walk around. Um, as you guys can see, some of the buildings are slanted. As soon as you approach there... Then you can just go ahead and press Q and your character will orientate to the platform you've viewed. Because this is a little bit slanted, I press Q. So I would I would be I would walk normally on this. But as soon as I get over here, it's like right, what the hell? You can just press Q and your character will go upright. Even while drifting in space, you can do that. And it makes it actually very easy to go ahead and board certain places. If I can show you guys, I think it will work here. If I do this, I press off my mag boots. Here we go. Now I can jump. Like this and not fall to where towards that. I have magnetic boots on, so that is cool. If we go ahead and zoom out, this is us. It's us, a really cool looking robot. Or endo. Endo, I think they're called. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at it. look at that star. I think that's a dwarf star when it goes blue. Like it already exploded. That's what's going to happen to our sun, the real sun, our star. Um, it's growing older and older, and by the time it will implode on itself, I think it's implosion, uh, create a supernova or something, and then it will be that little dwarf star over there. So, uh, yeah, you can go for a person whatnot, but not on uh, ships. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I, I'm messing this up. There we go. Orientate ourselves, switch off our mag boots. There we go. We are pressing G to switch on and switch off our mag boots. Which is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and zoom back in. Because it's a little bit better. You do have a punch. I'm right clicking to do punches. Yeah. 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 Sir, so I challenge you to fisty cups. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, we're here at the mining. The very first job. Uh, I think it's the very first job you do. Oh, no, 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 no. no. It's over here. This is the first thing you're going to do. I'm, I'm tapping shift to sprint. Uh, and yeah, demolition jobs are available. We're gonna do that real quick, like. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a series on my channel. I'm gonna heavily focus on this game. Previously, it was Ark Survival Evolved and Subnautica. And Last Day on Earth. So this is gonna be a new thing. I'm gonna try. And get a little bit more into it. You know, the, you guys are going to see more of this. So if you do enjoy the series, this is the very first episode of many episodes. Go ahead, smash that like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss an episode. And uh, yeah, hope you, for all the newcomers, welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home and uh, let's get into here. So we are here. You guys see this force field? This force field is a private instance. If I go in here. We would, the people who were inside here, uh, let me, if I was out here and there was somebody already in a job here, i go through this, they would disappear, and this would be my private session. And I think people can stand there and watch me work, I think. I've seen people work in here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So there's a collection area. Let's, let's just start, let's just start. So these are how the ships look like, different ones over here. Um, these are... Although in the tutorial, they will spawn in automatically for you. Uh, we're just going to do a couple just to show off. So every time we, we dismantle a one of these ships, uh, we get a reward. Um, this is the hardest one is Urchin. It is, I think it's extremely difficult. Not really extremely difficult. If you know what you're doing, you can dismantle this really quickly. You get 20,000 credits. And... Um, over here is like a scoreboard. You've got a timer on the top right hand corner. Uh, credits per minute. That's what they will show. And the total credits you earn. And the product you're doing. And the credits you've earned from each product. So. How does this work? Uh, I'm not going to read that. I will just jump through everything. So we're going to grab a tool over here. We're going to use this cutting tool over here. We press F on it. And now we have. A cutting tool. And what we're going to do is. We're going to do the. Uh, Basama Venette. Vanet, Vanet, and uh, it's gonna give us a 5,000 coinage or credits, and we're gonna dismantle that. So let's go ahead and spawn the ship over here. It is uh, it's already falling to pieces. These are really broken down ships, like blasted away. As you can see, there's a hole over there. Uh, there's also damage over there. And uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, we already collected like 300 credits or something because some of the little pieces just went into the collection area. So we're gonna. Cut. What? It disappeared on me. What? Yes, we've done it. <laughs> Boy, we're good. We're really good at this game. Spawn another one. I'm gonna show. I want to show the peeps. Let's go ahead and see if this happens again. No, it's not happening. All right, there it goes. There's a. I think that's a, a beacon or something. You add to your ship so you can see other people's um, names and other ships and stations and things. So yeah, let's go ahead and. Really? Is this going to be a thing? Well, let's try a different ship this time. Uh, the Pincer. This is, I think it's a, a game developer made ship. It is an asteroid or a mining ship, basically. Um, so let's go ahead and spawn it in. And I think this one might or might not uh, spawn or despawn. We're going to switch off our mag boots. And let's see if we cannot cut that off. Get over here, cut these. There we go. Left printer away. 
Game. Game. What are you doing, man? Again, we earned 5,000 credits. Is this going to happen with all the things? This is not so this is, people this is alpha okay this is this is going to be things i spent a good half an hour in this area cutting down ships and whatnot and uh yeah it was only in the tutorial i don't know if this is bugged you know you choose your ship and then let's see that Ooh, that's a bit uh no let's try this one yeah i spent quite some time on this ship uh which was kind of a pain in the butt to do but i will show you why we go. Are you also going to despawn? So you're going. Just want to see what happens. Yes, yeah, so you know, that, that's, that's, not, that's not fair. It's not fair because this is kind of an exploitation. I, I will report this to the dev, devs. Um, because that is already a good amount of cr uh, credits we got. So, yeah. Um, this will change. This will change. And, okay, you know what we're going to do? Let me show you the other tools we get. I'm going to spawn in the um, Masama again, this thing. And I'm going to grab a uh, this tool over here. Oh. This is a laser, right? And it's designed to precisely cut into different sections like this. Now, I've already done all of these things. Oh, there it goes. I've already done all these stuffs and... Okay, that disappeared. And I know what all the tools are and what they do and things. So yeah, that's this, so this is kind of bugged. I'm not gonna waste too much time over here because I want to go get to go to the mining part. I can't remember if I done that in a in the next episode, which is the previous episode. It's just very confusing. Um, let's grab this. I don't know what the hell that is though. But let's go ahead. This is a bolt tool. It bolts and unbolts things. As we can see, it already highlights all the bolts. But why, game? I want to show Ganga. So this is a bit stupid. I don't know what the hell's going on. I have no idea what this is. What's this? Ooh. Ooh, this is new. This is new. Spawn ship. Let's grab that. Can we... Place that there. Place that there. <laughs> I don't know what, how, how this is going to work. Uh, this is the very first time doing this. <coughs> Three, two. Da -da! <laughs> no. no. Why do this game? Quickly, put things on. I want to see the swing pop. <laughs> I don't have any ammo, but this thing probably will despawn again. Yeah, this this was hilarious. Oh, there, there it goes. All right, so but that's pretty cool. You can use those like little C4 detonator charges and whatnot, and it will blow up certain parts of the ship. So you guys saw like I uh, not the, on the engine part, not on the backside, but on the sides. There was these beams that stick out. Uh, I placed the charges there. So if you place them on very weak spots on the ship, you can actually blow the ship out of action completely out of action so yeah that is that's pretty cool um all right now that we're done here let's uh, get out of here and as soon as we leave you're not gonna keep those tools it's gonna despawn them out of your inventory so yeah that, that's a thing so let's go over to here this is the mining area i think uh, Alright guys, give me a second. I just quickly want to go check something uh, before we continue on into the mining. So hold on. I will, I will, I will be returning. I will return shortly. Alright, welcome back. So just as I suspected, before we go to the mining area, uh, or the mining job, that will be the next episode. I don't know. I, we, we did, so I did do... I did do the, the, the thing, you know, the uh, mining job already in the next episode. So stick around for that if you want to see the mining. But this, this spot over here, this is origin. Okay, this is where everybody, every new player will spawn as far as I understand. Um, so yeah, this is what I was greeted with. 
There is building your own unique ships. You can buy ships. There are jobs over available. And I think this way, that is the store area. As we see those guys' as ships, guys and gals, their ships are. And uh, there was just now, just now, a big ship that went over me. And it's just like, oh man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for that. So, but there is a surprise in the next episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Because it is, it does involve a ship. And yeah. So behind me is a command center. Um, I did see this in another video. And I said there's nothing going on. And yeah, this, there is nothing actually going on. I don't think there's also a spawn point around here. Uh, I will quickly show you guys also what uh, what I mean by spawn point. But it's a really cool looking place. There's not much going on here. Uh, well, there's actually nothing going on. Um, oh, yeah. See, over here, this is another spawn point. Let's go ahead. That. Find. There we go. So now we can come back to the command center. We can go to the um, mining job area. So let's quickly go and transfer. As far as I know, this does not cost you any money or whatnot. Uh, but only in closed alpha or in alpha build so yeah and over here is another one we, we were there just now so you come down the ramps and whatnot or you can fly by jumping and pressing g to deactivate your mag boots come down here and you should just go ahead select the empty slot and just say bind and then you bind it to this place and there are a ton everywhere there's a ton of, well not really a ton there's, uh, there's quite a few of them around uh, i think at the marketplace there's one the ships, the Empire, Empire Outposts, Pirate Base, I don't know, like that's another uh, station over there. If I, yeah, see if I look away to the right hand side of the screen right now, um, that is another station. I think that, I don't know if it's player builds or whatnot, but I've, I've, far, I've, I've seen people choose different places like that, uh, teleporting, quick travel. Yeah, yeah, it's quick travel. Uh, they quick travel to there, so that is pretty cool. Um, I think in the next episode, we're gonna go do the mining parts and whatnot. And then there's also the repair place. I thought there was a, like assembly, an assembly line, because it, it, it's that advert over there is saying like there's assembly. And I've been looking everywhere around here. Uh, it's just demolition that I can see, mining and uh, repair. I don't see the assembly job. That's kind of what I wanted to show you guys. Basically, you just assemble stuffs like chairs and engines and things like that. Uh, or thrusters, basically. And then you make credits that way. But I, don't, I cannot find it. I don't know if it's been taken out or I'm just a goofball. Um, and I, I cannot find the uh, exact shop. So, yeah, I do apologize for that. I'm so sorry, but I was, I'm thinking the next episode, I will mention that we will go and look at um, different, there are different shops where you can buy ships and things. Um, oh, there it, there it is, there it is, that's the big ship I was talking about, it looks like a pincer uh, or claw at the front, but I think those are just uh, beams that capture asteroids in its, uh, in its way. So yeah, and there's people already doing demolition jobs and whatnot in there uh, i don't know if it's just bugged for me which we saw earlier i don't know if it's bugged for me or it's for everybody um but i will go check out the forums and see if there's anybody else talking about it and uh yeah so i think next episode we're gonna go to the market and see what we can find there uh this video has been going for 20 minutes i think the next episode should be about 30 minutes long or something but stay tuned for that there is a surprise like i said at the end and i hope you guys will enjoy that and that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me here on Starbase. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.